what I'm going to do is to record a query. We've done table, a student table and a student front sheet. We've done forms, a student form and a front sheet form. Now I'd like to go to query. Click onto new and go to design view and we come to here. You must have a table so I add that and then close. Now I drag this down here so that I have enough space here to open that to its fullest. I double click onto there, double click onto there, double click onto there. I don't need address, I don't need po postcode. I double click onto there and double click onto there. These are the questions I'm going to ask of my database. So first of all, if I just look at the raw thing like that, I have those details and it's all unsorted. Let's go back to the query, come down to here and sort it in ascending order. So if I run that now, you'll see Barnet to the elephant. I could undo that and come to here and sort it out by age. So ascending order, do that and you can see the oldest first going down to the youngest. That'll do. Okay, so let's save that. The query name. Query of students by age. Let's OK that and then close this. I could do another query new query OK. Now again I'll take all of the ages in there. This one is going by by design, so I'm going to cancel that and try again. Query new by design view again. Student table add. Close that one there. Drag down there and then once again click on to each one of those and now what I'm going to do is to say down here put in the word yes now if I look at my my table then all the students who are members of the union are shown if I went back and put in no, then of course I'd get the non-members of the student union. I'll save that query of non-members of student union. OK that. Close that. There are my two queries that I've asked, questions that I've asked in X, in my database. Thank you.